Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steers. And today, chums, I'm going to be hitting up Starfield and be checking out these new sort of ground vehicles inside of Starfield. So, I am thinking about starting a new game, though, with different perks and things. So, I might do that, but to be honest, um, because of how slow paced the story is, I'm not going to do a full playthrough. I'm just going to show you my best bits. So, yeah, I'll get into that. I wish I could load into my actual save. I don't know. I'll have a look into it. Anyway, I'm going to deliver into you my best bits. Right, so I'm feeling like a little bit of a tall. And guess what I'm just about to pick up? A tall! Yeah. Dusty, you're up. Grab a cutter and mine what you can. Okie dokie. In, that cavern. in this cavern? Okie dokie. I'm on my way to these blue diamonds. Watch my legs. Zappity doo da, zappity die day. Yes. Kaboom. And zap. There we go. Done. Oh, there's some more over here. Right. Take that, rocks of evil. Yeah. Okay, well, I've come to a big rock with anti gravity rocks everywhere. Okay. Zap this then. Boom. Oh, what have I got here? I'll take that. Yeah, why not? Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. This is mine. Heck yes, I found it. Find this golly fudge. Ah! I'd about to say find his keepers, but I wish I didn't pick it up. Ah! Oh, you Whoa. Oh, this is where I create my character, isn't it? Yeah, I gotta okay, do that. Yeah, well, I've created my character. It's pretty vanilla icy, doesn't it, to be fair. But anyway, I'm going to have this one, I think. Your parents. So I'm going to have parents in there. And I'm going to have hero worship because I don't really like any of Constellation. So I take this guy with me pretty much everywhere I go. Or I take the robot, one or the other. And now I just need to find one other that I like the look of. Well, I'm not really somebody that likes any of the characters in this game, apart from maybe the parents and also you know the hero worshipy guy. So you know I'm going to go for this one because I'm not really going to really hire much crew. Well, people, well, we after a minor scuffle and talking to this lovely chappy, we're going off to Constellation. I guess lovely. Oh, fun top of He gave me a watch that doesn't tell the time. Fits you perfectly. Doesn't mean we're engaged, mate. Questions? Um, yeah, let's let's go. Come on. I have to say, the first time seeing this ship inside of you know, Starfield and knowing that it's your ship and looking at all the particle effects, it's it's got some gravitas, people. If you haven't played Starfield, this is a good moment. I am hoping Just that this comes to Captain. all platforms. I'll be in the external robotics bay. Okay, thank you, Vosco. Well, I'm having this then, if it's mine. I guess. Okay, let's go aboard. Okay, well, after a skirmish with some pirates, I'm landing on Crete. And we're going inside some sort of facility in Crete. And this way. That doesn't sound good. Hey ah! Judo chop to the head! How'd you like them apples? The other guy's dead. There's no one to watch your back, mate. I'm shooting you in the head, and you're not freaking dying. Am I? Am I though? Mm, that sounded like a ladder. I do not feel pain, but I hear it is terrible. It is terrible. It is quite terrible. Oh, I've looted that one. Oh my days! Get out of it, pirate scum! Oh, 
Whoa, whoa! Judo chop! Come at me with a freaking axe, will you? I'll teach you. You are trying to kill me. No, I'm not. I am not technically alive. Well done, Vosco, for that observation of wonderfulness. Detection of enemy has dropped. Take that! How did I miss in that hail of gunfire? That wasn't the best cover there for you, well, it was it? There we are. You're done. Okay, right. I think that's pretty much everything, isn't it? Hmm. I found myself a lovely dead end, Roscoe. Oh, I was expecting a boss fight, but I don't remember this at all, people. Okay, we've got loads of credits from there. That's cool. Uh, we probably could have spoke to these guys, but... The best form of defense is a seriously good offense. Oh, for fuck's sake, I just changed my weapon, didn't I? Yeah, you're dead. We should now be free to travel to Constellation's headquarters. We're leaving Creek and heading to New Jemison. Or New Atlantis, one or the other. And, um, yeah, I think we should be able to get a vehicle fairly soon. Okay, chums, I've arrived at New Atlantis. Now, this is where you can buy your vehicle. So we go, let's uh, let's land. I don't know whether I'm going to have enough credits to buy a vehicle, but we'll have a look. Exit ship. Oh, no, 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 wrong button. Fudge sake. This time, people, I get the right button. Sweet. Now we're exiting. Okay. Once you've exited, go speak to this chappy. Sometimes he's over by the other console. Your memory is. And he's our new captain. Hello. I can take a look at your ship. And you can stop by the trade authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. Sounds good, mate. Okay. You were able to land it, so I'm sure. Sweet. I'd like to purchase vehicles is the option that we want. Okay, no problem. Now, I'm not too sure how much I've got. Explore a planet with a vehicle. Yes, 2,500 credits. Yeah, I like it. Okay. I like to purchase a vehicle. Okay, no problem. It does not... I can't see on the screen where my money is. So I don't know how much money I've got. 2,000... Yeah, I would like that. Have I just bought two of the freaking things now? I don't know. I don't know how much money I've actually bloody got. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. This is one of the things that I was never really a fan of when it comes to um, this game, to be honest. Okay, now I can see my credits. They're in the bottom left-hand corner. I've got 7,124 credits. I don't think I purchased one of those things. So... I have to sell a load of stuff before I can actually buy a vehicle and test it out. So, you know, I'll progress all the story, do all the little mini twiddly bits until I can actually afford one of those things. I'll join the now, Vanguard to get a load of extra credits. Money. That helps a bit. The motto of the Vanguard is Supra et Ultra. Supra et above Ultra! Above, above and beyond! We serve, beyond the furthest reaches of the United Colonies military, and with honour and duty above reproach. Okay. Do you swear? to protect and defend the citizens of the United Colonies to the best of your abilities. Swearing isn't and my thing. to uphold the values of the Vanguard. Honor, loyalty, self-reliance in all your actions as a member of the United Colonies Navy. I do, but my arm's aching. Can I put this down? And swearing-wise, fudge is about the very first I go. Okay, okay, I do. Then let me be the first to officially welcome you to the United Colonies Vanguard. Oh, I'm so close. Oh, oh, I'm so close to getting enough units for a blinking jeep, mate. So close. Now, people, if I just sell one more gun, I think I might have enough in the bank 
to buy it. Oh, maybe I could get away with selling the axe. Is that going to get me there? Oh, I've got three of them. Oh, that was so close. Okay, right. Um, right, one more. Do I need that suppressed Eon? I've got an Eon here. This one's a suppressed Eon. Which one does more damage? 10, 10, accuracy. They're virtually the same. I'll get rid of just a normal Eon, I think. There we go. Oh, no. Why did my credits not go up? Oh, for fudge sake, the vendors run out of bloody credits. Oh, you're having a laugh, mate. Oh, for... By Vectera, by Vectera, by Vectera. I can't believe it. Is Hello, it mate. You? Is it really, really you? It is, it is, it is me. Captain of the frontier. Captain Steve. Of the fleet. Yes. Constellations, shining stars. That's me. Stars. Heck yes, that's me. Yeah, it's me. Then the day is truly blessed. Because for a moment, I wasn't sure if you were real or just another hallucination. Okay, you have hallucinations now often? No, it's you. What are the odds? And to think, I almost went for coffee instead. No, oh dear. But I changed my routine for one day, and here you are. Here I am, yes! It's almost like it was meant to be. You want to travel with us, mate? I'm sure you do. Yeah. Great. I know, right? Yeah. And you can try to fight destiny. No. But you probably aren't going to win. Heck no. Although, if I'm being honest, I'd wager you could beat just about anything. No. Even theoretical concepts. I can. But why would you, in this case? Well, they don't Either tangle way, with me, mate. It's such an honor to meet you. Yeah, the honor is all yours. Do you mind if I follow you around? Not a problem. Do you need a sidekick? I do indeed. What yes. Am I saying? You're a hero. Of course you do. Thank you. Lead the way. Will do. I guess. Welcome you aboard, mate. Be disappointed. Sweet. Okay, cool, yeah. Yeah, you're coming with me. I guess. Lovely, jubbly. Get aboard. Right, I need to go and find how I can get some more freaking money. It's a shame. It's a shame I can't get my bloody thing back. Because he didn't have no bloody money. A buyback, no budging hack. Alright, I'm so close to getting that Jeep. Okay, chums, I could go and sell this. There we go. We've got the 25,000. Heck yes. Lovely jubbly. Thanks for coming in. Not a problem. Right. I've got a new jetpack as well, people, which I haven't put on yet. So, here we go. Sweet! Okay, let's go buy a Jeep. That whole thing with vendor credits is another thing that I really hate. I wish the vendors Anything would just have with? infinite Anything money. I can help you with? Yeah, I would like to purchase a vehicle. Okay, no problem. Yeah, no problem at all. I've got the 2,500 credits, I guess. We're having that. You now have access to vehicles! The Rev 8 will automatically be deployed to your ship whenever you land. Okay. Colour, why? X, Y. This... Oh, great! I'm going to leave it red and white, but it looks like you can change the colour, people. This, this is pretty cool. Alright. I like the colour it is. Sweet! I heard you're a member of the UC Vanguard. Oh, look at that! It's there! We're not going to drive it around the town. I don't want to run people over and get arrested and all that sort of shenanigans. But we will be trying that out very soon, people. You know what, people? As long as I don't drive it down that ramp, there's not many people around here. I think I can take it for a quick test drive now. Which side's the steering wheel on? Um, I don't know. Let's get, let's get in. Hey. Let's put it in gear. Oh, sweet! Does it have a boost or anything? Oh, I got out. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, it does. Sweet. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, man, this thing has got some drift. I think it's front wheel drive as well. Oh, this is so cool. Heck, yes. 
Okay. Oh wow, we've got bullets as well. Is there an underneath thruster? I'm sure I saw in the video an underneath thruster. Oh, that is so cool. Can I take it inside my ship? Let's give it a go. Let's see if we can take it up the ramp. Is it going to fit? That's the question. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. And we're in. Like a glove. Okay. Oh, jeez. I can't get out. Okay. What's the get out button? Okay. That's it. Sweet! It fits in there, but I can't really get out the doors. Okay, let's get in then. Sweet! We've got a jeep. Okay, People we'll arrived on the planet. Let's just take it for a little spin. Whoa, Nelly! Let's just go this way. Whoa! Donuts! Heck yes! Did you? Well, you dislike everything. I'm surprised you're even sitting in the seat next to me. Okay, right, here we go. Now! Ha ha! We can climb any mountain! Sweet! Aha! I think I found the jump button. Uh oh. I think I'm stuck. No, I'm not. Aha! We are triumphant! Watch this. Boom! Heck yes! Ow! That hurt. Okay, Sarah. We're gonna park here, I think. Yeah, we're... Actually, we'll we go down here. Meow! We've arrived in style. Either I got hit harder than I thought. What knows we're here? Second floor main building. Right? Be quiet. Okay, we better get out of the car then and stop bibbing the hooter. I actually really like the vehicle. It's a good vehicle. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot, people. I like it a lot. It's very okay, good. Okay, chums. Seems that there might be trouble ahead. There might be trouble ahead. Hello. How are you? So what do we got here? It's too clean to be one of the settlers. Or a pirate. You see on patrol, maybe? Yeah, make my day if you said you were a shock trooper out for a stroll. That's me. Actually, I'm Vanguard. Vanguard, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I expect they didn't. What? I'm Hadrian. I'm a... I was a researcher with the UC. Okay. I, I came here on a rumor of a... Well, I expect you saw the results on your way in. No. What's left of the settlers? The Drove. work of Oxizio Machina. Drove straight the past Terramorph. them. Oh. One of the nastiest aliens humanity's ever crossed paths with. And this one, well, it's something of an anomaly. Okay. Possibly a worrying one. Cool. I can't believe that a Terramorph did all this damage. I mean, I've heard the stories, but to see the decimation firsthand. Hmm. Well, sounds like you could use my help then. <laughs> I sure could. Because to confirm my suspicions about this tea. creature, I'm going to need a tissue sample from it. And to get that, I need its corpse. Righto. Eh? But yeah. there is a way we can give ourselves an edge against this thing. The plant security system. Okay. The admin terminal's here in this building, but it needs its connection reset. Okay. And as I found out, that's not a one-person job. Okay. But if you can make it to the security outpost and restore the connection, I think I can get things back online. See if the settlers left us any other tools. Okay. So I guess I'm a tool right now. Okay. All right, let's get the systems back online. Once I see the connection reset, I'll get things underway on my end. Okay. Take care of yourself out there. I'm saying I'm okay sure a lot. Enough of that thing for us to get a sample. Righty ho. Yeah, well, let's go do that then. Right. Let's go get this thing all hooked up, connected, honky dory, sweet and swanky. 
Papa Chow, like the wind I run. Okay, there we go. Starware, system security. Reset security connection. Done. Automated defences. Error. Okay. The automated defences seem like they got an error. Tracking systems are also offline. Oh, great. Connection restored. Yeah. I'll make this quick. Hmm. Plants turrets took a beating, but I should be able to get you a couple of kill lanes. Okay. Just get the thing to chase you down the alleys between the buildings, and you'll lead it right into a crossfire. Oh, hello. Let's have a look at this. Right, okay. Well, we, we reset it now, so, you know, everything should be good. I wish I'd found this earlier. You notice those sensors around the facility? Stock up on junk. Part of a livestock tracking system. Should let you keep tabs on how close the Terramorph is. Alright. <clears throat> cool, yeah. But it's not connected to well, this I guess network. we're going out here then, are we? There should be a terminal no. in the adjoining room. Tune it to 183.5. 183.5. You got it. 183.5. Okay. Sweet. 183.5. There we go. Done. Trackers reading green. And All right. What's that sound? Oh, it's gone dark. Don't you worry. Shit. I have a torch. Stop. Stop whatever you're doing and get in cover. It's okay. Move. We're in cover, right? Oh, 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 I see it. I see it. Oh, no, that's not it. It's a, that's um, like an elite. I don't know what that was, but it just got munched. Okay. That's not good. Look, I wouldn't engage directly if you could avoid it. Okay. The kill lanes. They're set up but need power. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Once they're online, lead the terramorph towards the lights and watch the fireworks. Okay. Give it hell, Vanguard. Let's go. Oh, here's one. Additional power input required. That sounded like Optimus Prime from Transformers. Oh, fudge. I just saw it. Holy fudge! Get me out of here! Run like the frickin' wind, Captain! Run like the frickin' wind! Oh no, wrong button! Where's the bloody button? Okay, it's here. Right, I need a freaking gun. Not that one, it's got no bullets. That will do. What do you mean? Uh, there's another one I've got to do. That sounds like it's right behind me. What the fudge? Where am I supposed to go? On the roof? How do I get up there? Yeah, the terrifying music's really terrifying me. Okay, right. Up here. Fudge this. I'm, I'm getting to the point where I think it's probably better just to fight the dang thing, because I can't find my way around this building. Okay, let's let's try climbing up here. Let's get on this. Get on. Okay. Get up there. Right. Okay. I've already, I've already activated this. Well, I've already. I'm pretty sure I've already done these. 
Why is it getting me to do them again? Okay. Can I get around here? Is that all I do is press buttons while Sarah has all the fun with killing stuff? Okay. No, you can just do whatever you're doing. Okay, there we go. We, we've done it, I think. Distance to target, 33 meters. 55 meters. I don't know where he is. Aha, over this way. Is that it up there? Is it dead? Did I not even get to shoot it? Right, I'm going to shoot it a bit. Ah, oh, I punched it as well. Look at me. I killed it. It's all right. It, it's dead. Okay, right. I guess we did that then. Hmm. I would have preferred to have done a bit of combat against the dang thing, but I just pressed buttons. Button presser extraordinaire, Captain Steve, at your service. There you go. Tracker's gone quiet. I suspect it's either hiding or... I killed it! Wait. You did it, didn't you? Mm. Heavens above! Yeah, it's dead! Flatlined a terror more. Ah. Got a cup of tea. What do you expect, love? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Taken care of. No big deal. <laughs> now just press some buttons. It died. You didn't happen to grab me a tissue sample, did of you? Of course I did, mate! Yeah. All right. I spotted a microscope downstairs. Let's see if we can't get to the bottom of this. I don't think it was its bottom. It wasn't its rectum. I hope it wasn't. Anyway, the tissue that I just... I'll try not to slow you down. Okay. Well, go on then. Go. Go. Are you going to... Oh, there we go. She's walking. Right. Well, while she's doing that, I'm just going to take that, whatever that was. Oh, there's another box over here. We'll have that too. Some laser cartridges. We'll have some shotgun shells. I haven't got a shotgun, but, you know... Right. Cool, yeah. All in a day's work for Captain of the Steves. Oh my god, look at the amount of blood. You got a lot of cleaning up. Oh, at least there's a mop and broom and stuff over there. Take a look, do your analysis. Uh, older model. Still Let's see what you can do. Running basic diagnostics? Nothing. Maybe a flag scan? No. Spectrograph. Do a wide burst scan. Just hit scan everything. This equipment, it's not set up to do a proper analysis of our sample. But this terramorph being here, of all places, it doesn't make sense. Why? Humanity's spread plenty of creatures in our travels across the stars. Pets, livestock, pests. Right. But terramorphs, they're different. To our knowledge, no one's ever spread them intentionally. Yet somehow, they follow us. So when humans settle a world, mm -hmm. 70 to 100 years later, terramorphs tend to just appear. No one knows how or why. Dangerous, but at least predictable. Tell hmm. SETI, though, it's too young to have a native population. It's only been colonized 20 years. Right. And the other option, that someone captured one of the deadliest predators in the galaxy just to wipe out some settlers minding their own business? Hmm. That seems awfully implausible. Which means we're either looking at a truly strange murder or a faster type of terramorph growth, the results of which could be catastrophic. Right. Terramorph outbreaks have taken down far bigger colonies than this one. Okay, um, it does sound, it does sound a little bit dodgy, to be fair. Well, they're not exactly buying tickets and flying coach. And that's what I thought. The theory is that they're spread by some kind of egg or seed that's 
able to evade our detection. Mm -hmm. But how the hell an undetectable egg turns into a terramorph without anyone noticing is a question no one's ever found an answer to. Right. And it's why what's happened here could be real bad news for the rest of human civilization. What about if terramorphs are humans that transform? Mm, what are that? Like werewolves. Like werewolves, but shitter. There is. I mean, there has to be. That'd be my guess. You just have to find it. Time was, I had access to one of the best repositories of terramorph research in the galaxy. Seems a natural place to start looking, if I can figure how to access it. But we also need to get this sample properly analyzed, get confirmation on just how concerned we should be. Luckily, I think I know just the person to help with the sample. What would you say to delivering this to him for me? Not a problem. I do it myself, but I need to call in some favors. See if I can't get access to that Terramorph data. Well, of how, of how slow you talk. Plus, maybe just pop by a hospital for a little bit. You didn't do Please anything. Your okay. Right. First, if you have to. Fine. You can even show them this. My gene tag. Cool. Tell them Hadrian Sinan is worried there could be more attacks on the horizon. They should recognize the name. Okay, cool. Don't worry. Okay. Major management, not sure, blah, blah, blah. I was. Long time ago. Family tradition. But I know some of the folks from my old unit moved into the Vanguard. A couple even show me favors. If I'm lucky, your commander is one of them. Okay, cool, yeah. Don't worry. I hope my commander yeah, agrees. You don't understand what a weight off my shoulders that is. Not a problem. I need Dr. Percival Walker to put together a sample analysis for this thing. Full workup. He'll know what that means. Looks like she likes taking weight I'm off her shoulders. Sure exactly She's got a big book there. Him, but last I heard, he was contracting with the Trade Authority on Mars. Mars? There's a place okay. called the Sixth Circle in Sidonia. Bar run by some old friends. I'll meet you and Percival there. I think and I've got another mission in of the Sidonia. It's not a lot, but you've definitely earned it. Should cover the cost of fuel to Mars, at least. Well, thank you. Now, please, go check in with your commander. We need to know what we're dealing with. Heck yeah. All right, I bet we, go, we better go speak to our commander, eh, Sarah? Anyway, people inside of the Viewerverse, I think this is probably a good place to stop this video. So in this video, we managed to check out the ground vehicle, and it's freaking awesome. We also done our first vanguardy type mission. At least I think that was the Vanguard one. Yeah, I've had fun. So jumping back into Star Citizen, I'm hoping to try and complete this before the actual expansion comes out. The DLCs, people inside the Viewerverse, which is around the 31st of September, I think, or it's towards the end of September anyway. So hopefully I'm going to have enough in my bank to buy that DLC, because I'd imagine it's going to be charged for, because it's Bethesda, it's not Hello Games. So yeah, hopefully you can join me for this. Now, I am hoping that Bethesda, I know that they're releasing Indiana Jones for PlayStation next spring or next summer. I'm hoping that they release Starfield for PlayStation 5 at some point, because I know a lot of my viewers out there, probably you right now watching, probably wouldn't mind playing this since it's a space adventure on your PlayStation 5. Let's keep our fingers crossed for that one, people, hey? But anyway, if you are watching on PlayStation 5, I hope you continue watching, because I do hope this comes to your platform at some point, because it is worth picking up, even despite all the, the harshness of reviews and things. It's, it, it's The story moves slow, the dialogue, as you just saw, moves slow, but it's space travel, it's spaceships, the space customization of your ship is awesome. The base building, ship building is great. Anyway, till next time, people. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again. Steve